Welcome back guys to the Man United Daily YouTube channel and in this video I'm going to be talking about United's second summer signing Romelu Lukaku from Everton. It was confirmed yesterday um, but I was, as I was busy I couldn't make a video straight away but um, yeah I thought I'll give you my quick thoughts on um, his transfer. Um, firstly I just want to say um, sorry for the lack of videos over the last year or so it's just been a hectic time as i got went back to university to complete my degree um, but now as i have done that and have graduated thankfully um, i'll be bringing you a, a few more videos this summer and hopefully um, uh, over the next coming months as well so in this video like i said i'll be talking about lukaku who uh, was confirmed yesterday still hasn't been finalized um until you know further notice from united but they said that the fee has been announced um they didn't confirm it but from all the briefing that was ca came out uh friday morning uh it was you know for 75 million and then there was about 50 millions of add-ons we can argue about the fee uh the value etc but i don't really care about that anymore because um you know the, the the money in football is absolutely ridiculous nowadays so i think it will be wasting a lot of everyone's time if we talk about the money obviously it's a huge um price tag for a player who is you know all depends on who you talk to who is a fast track bully they is the most uh quoted uh phrase for the last day or so but Personally, I'm delighted that we've signed Lukaku because obviously with Ibrahimovic going, uh, we had this void for a number nine. Uh, people are saying that it could hamper um, Rashford, Rashford's um, development. But um, come on, guys, 19-year-old, you can't expect that um, that kid to be leading the line week in, week out for the not eight, nine months of the season. So I think it's a fantastic signing. And obviously there were a bit of a smoke screen with Morata over the last few weeks. And so that came out of the blue really on Friday morning. Like I said, it was just like a bomb dropping and I didn't really expect it. I think a lot of us thought that Lukaku was definitely a uh, dead on for the tra uh, transfer to Chelsea because we all took that for granted, I guess, and we were pursuing Morata. But turn out Ed Woodward working his dark magic again playing with Real Madrid um, and then obviously just dropping Chelsea out of the blue as well with this signing it was absolutely fantastic um, to see that United are able and capable of um, you know maneuvering um, some of the biggest clubs in the world and getting their transfer done in a private way until it was very advanced and then it's, they began to brief the uh, the British press, uh, Daily Mail actually broke it first, so credits where credits due. So that was the way that we all found out. Um, Lukaku, 24 years old, you know, I think he scored about 86 goals in the Premier League um, over the past three seasons. So he's been challenging with Harry Kane on um, those past three years for the Golden Boot. So we know that we're getting a proven player in the league, and I think that's the biggest advantage for me of like getting Lukaku over someone like uh, Morata or even Belotti because he is proven in the league and whatever you say about Morata and Belotti yes they had they have fantastic uh, ability and they had a decent season last season but you never know how a foreign player is going to adapt to the Premier League because even the best players um, like Di Maria you know personality wise maybe questions about that but ability wise does not guarantee you success in a league uh, so I'm delighted because Lukaku obviously like I said uh, used to playing in the Premier League worked under Mourinho before so I think that was a big factor but I think the biggest factor and the most exciting thing I think is the well not reunion but just the union of him and Paul Pogba who seems to have uh, a very close friendship you can see from their Instagram accounts how um, Lukaku who actually broke the news to Pogba was uh, recorded on Instagram um, I'll leave the link to that video below but um, yeah it's just a fantastic uh, way I think to um, well kick off and before we went on tour which United are flying out today um, because leading up to the tour with only Lindelof the only signing I think there was a lot of question marks from myself as well but also a lot of the fans who were sort of like worried about 
what was happening behind the scenes. So to see that um, United obviously reverting to style where everything is a lot more secretive is, I think, both exciting and sort of like reassuring that as Ed Woodward has learned from the past, you know, we all remember the first two transfer windows were absolutely disastrous where we were briefing this and that about Bell, Fabregas, and we got egg on our face every single time. So to get this outmaneuvering Chelsea um, for Lukaku... Um, just again, I think gives Edward with a lot of credit in the bank with United fans and also that he's learning um, about the ways to really negotiate within the you know transfer market. Um, Lukaku, I think, like I said, fantastic addition and I think he really brings something to the team where um, we all see needed a lot of goals uh, against the small, supposed smaller size from last season. Um, yeah, fast track bully, wherever you want, but he adds goals. So that's the most important thing in football. And he brings a ton of those. Uh, so hopefully he'll uh, bring the same sort of like tally to United. Um, one final thing I want to say is that we now have a fantastic spine to the team now. David De Gea, 26. Eric Bay 22. Pogba, 24. Lukaku, 24. And with a load of, you know, talented youngsters around with Rashford, Martial, uh, Lindelof is only 22 as well. Uh, Fosu Mensa, Swan Zabi. So it is exciting times again for the club. And I think getting the number nine is one of the bigger pieces of the puzzle it's not the the biggest piece of the puzzle in my opinion but um, it goes a long way to what um, we need in order to be competitive both in the league and also challenging in Europe so like I said fantastic signing the fee yeah you could argue it's inflated but again I think for the uh, for his age for his tally uh, goals tally and also what he just brings to uh, United adding a more dynamic number nine um, just a different style uh, it's going to be from Ibra last year it's going to be just a fascinating thing to watch to see how the team adapts to him and he, how he adapts to the team with uh, you know a lot of playmakers in the team so I'm hoping I don't know fingers crossed 25 goals plus should be an easy tally for him to hit with the caliber um, of playmakers we have in our team but there you guys have it for my sort of like first uh, opinion on Lukaku obviously we're still waiting for the final announcement as to his uh, shirt number um, and we'll have a first glimpse of him on the tour in the next few days or so um, so it's exciting times again um, I would have liked to have a few more signings by now but um, just the way uh, and a method in which we acquired Lukaku I think gave us a lot of hope and uh, reassurances that United are um, are well and away with their transfer targets and hopefully we will have a few more um, even during the tour or just very quickly afterwards just before the beginning of the season. So um, there you guys have it for this video. Um, if you have any comments regarding Lukaku, please do leave them below um, and I'll you know get a discussion going down there. And also, like I said, if you want a more regular update where you want you know real time tweets and my opinion then please do follow me on twitter at man united daily or also on instagram at man united daily 99 i'll leave those links down below for you to have a look at and again thanks for your support give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more fingers crossed regular content in the future thanks guys and i'll see you in the next one cheers